as always, The Adventurous Joe. And this time around, we're reviewing Marvel's Ant-Man. Woohoo! Loved it! This movie was good. Once again, Disney Marvel did a fantastic job of, with their Marvel Comics property type movies, the Marvel Universe, Cinematic Universe, whatever you want to call it, Universe. Either way, Paul Rudd as Scott Lane, fantastic work, great choice. Uh, Michael Douglas as the former Ant-Man, Hank Pym, great choice. I mean, I liked how the movie started off and Hank Pym was just like pissed off about his formula being, you know, used somewhere else in another, by another country, another superpower and all this shit. I loved how he was getting all pissed off about it. I loved how the story interacted with one another. I kind of didn't like it how uh, Scott Lang, you know, started off in prison. Seriously, you know, it, it didn't it didn't really show how he ended up there or anything like that. It it was just like all over the place, literally all over the place. <laughs> and uh, either way, the story was good. Okay, and I loved how they interacted with the Avengers, okay? Bringing about, you know, the new, one of the new Avengers, uh, Falcon there and stuff. Bringing him into it, and uh, Ant-Man and him interacting with one another, and uh, fighting one another, you know, he got to know him, uh, you know, that he's one of the good guys and stuff like that. And I loved the ending to it. Okay, the ending itself was perfect. I loved how the lady was talking to Falcon and she was telling him about, you know, he says he's looking for a guy and uh, she says, what kind, which kind of guy? We got one that shoots, we got one that cr climbs walls, we got one that shoots, you know, flies, we got this and that and it, he goes, a certain kind, of, you know, told her of a certain kind and stuff and uh, she's like, well, which one exactly are you talking about here? And, uh... It's just like a back and forth kind of story ending or whatever. And it was just like Scott Lane or... The, you know, that... Oh, bro, I gotta tell you something. One of the Avengers was asking about you. And he's like, oh, shit. He was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> and they were all put, like, uh, about to freak out. Why the hell is the Avengers looking for me? And, uh... You know, it, it just was so great, and I loved the interaction with his daughter, okay? Scott Lang was showing, he wanted to be a better man for his daughter and stuff. You know, even though his wife has moved on and shit, and she's now married to something, married or engaged to someone else, and uh, who's a cop, actually. And I love the interaction with them and stuff. I love how the, it just gets better and better as the story progresses. And I love how Ant-Man was being brought into it more and stuff. I love how Scott Lang was learning how to use the suit better and stuff with uh, Hank Pym teaching him with his daughter Hope. And uh, Hope was just Hope was just unbelievable, you know, to see her look on her face and stuff like that when she could see how well Scott Lang is doing and stuff like that, to the raw emotion she had towards uh, her father and stuff about her, uh, why you don't talk about mom and all this other stuff. You know, it, it just brought about more and more to the story. And it was perfect. It was well done, very well perfect. And uh, Ant-Man, you know, Paul Rudd's character as Scott Lang, Ant-Man, okay, I love it when he told that to Falcon. Falcon's looking at him and going, seriously? And he goes, wasn't my idea. <laughs> the, the story was perfect in itself. My final verdict, well, final verdict, I keep doing this shit. Final judgment upon this movie is going to be an 8 out of 10. Now, I loved the film. Don't get me wrong. I loved this movie. However, there were some things in it that could have been a little different, could have been a little better. For one, seeing how Hank Pym refers to his wife, you know, and what happened to her and everything, could have been a little more well done and well told. Like, uh, starting the movie off with him getting all pissed off about his formula and shit, okay, 
would have been a little better like uh, finding out how his wife died on this mission and stuff. How she disappeared without a trace and so on and so forth, okay? That could have been a little more well done and well told. Either way, my final judgment is an 8 out of 10 badass seal of approval. I love the action in this. I love some of the comical stuff too. Especially when uh, Paul Rudd's trying to learn how to run through, a, run fast and then shrink down real quick and jump through a keyhole. He kept forgetting to shrink down and he just BAM! hit <laughs> the fucking door every time. And I was just like, wow. Wow. Yeah. He's learning. <laughs> and Hope is the, Hope's just shaking her head and stuff and her dad's just going, he's learning. He's learning. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Either way, the, the movie itself was fantastically well done. 8 out of 10 is my final judgment. High recommendations. Check it out. Two thumbs up. Very well preserved. Well done. I loved how Hank and his daughter interact. I loved how all the characters were interacting. I loved how the Scott's friend and him were interacting. I loved how the the go-between parts at the end were done. I meant, seriously, if you have not seen Ant-Man, I can't spoil this for you. But if you have seen it, you already know what I'm talking about. The two cinematic end credit scenes. The post credit scenes. Wow. Will we see Wasp in the in Captain America Civil War, or will we be seeing her somewhere down the lines in one of the Avenger films like uh, Ant-Man 2 or some other damn thing? We don't know. But either way, Hope Van Dyne is going to end up being the next Wasp. Woo! And then last but not least was the tie-in to Captain America Civil War. Showing Bucky cuffed to a table, chained down, cuffed or whatever to a table. Very weak and tired looking. Falcon and Captain America talking to one another. And... He says that, no, we can't go to Tony with this and stuff like that. That uh, after some situation that happened or something, all this is going to be talked about in Captain America Civil War, which comes out next year in theaters everywhere. Either way, I loved how after that post credit scene, it says Ant-Man will return in Captain America Civil War. I was like, whoa! Whoa! Unbelievable. And I can't wait for Captain America Civil War. I am on the Marvel hype train right now, baby. I cannot wait for this one to come out. After seeing the teaser trailer that was shown at D23, I cannot wait even more for Captain America Civil War. Either way, Final Judgment, once again, on Ant-Man is an 8 out of 10. Badass seal of approval. High recommendations. Check it out for yourselves. If you haven't already seen it, Let's discuss your thoughts in the comments down below. Did you like it? What was your dislike about it? Did you think it was okay? Kind of goofy? Could have been a little better on the action? Let's discuss it in the comments section down below. And that's it for this week's movie review of Ant-Man. Next time around, I will be back with... Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Yeah, I have to stretch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Either way... That's it. I will see you all next time on my next movie review. I have been your host as always, The Adventurous Joe, Joseph Michaels. Peace out. May the force be with you. And may the power protect you all. Keep keep out, keep out, on checking out other movies or whatever or whatnot. Don't forget to like the channel, sub <laughs> like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave me your comments. You know, anything else you want me to review, let me know in the comment section down below. And that's it. I'll see you all next time on my next movie review.